or even cl thought to clarify which king. But with old Mobotropolis gone and the crown sharing power with a blinking council, I had to act before the rifle king lost everything. So, and, and I want you to notice something. When, it's a, when they say rifle king, it's in, when they say rifle, when they have him say rifle king, the rifle is in bold, in bold letters. So I want, I want you to look that stuff up. I mean, this, this is so much going on. I mean, they have a line, they have him whispering kind of like in, you know, those little dots where you whisper and all that. But he's kind of like s telling Sally, who said anything about Eliza's? To make, you got to look at these clues and everything. And then he says, he's, you know, it's just all there. I mean, there's hints that it can't be Nagus he's working for. It can't be Nagus. So anyway, after he's telling him this, that, hey, I did what I had to do before the rifle king would lose everything, Sally tries to go after him. He says, you're not making any sense. And then again, you see some bold letters in certain, the bold letters, or some words that are bolded out. When he's telling, when Sally's saying, hey, you're not making any sense, he says, you just don't want me to make sense. And then want is bolded. You know and know is bolded what I'm talking about. Now, Sally's saying, if the, any of this is true, why haven't you acted sooner? And, you know, Jeffrey's saying, oh, I've been at this for years. Circumstances just forced me to drop the subtlety. And she wants to know what does his wife, Hershey, have to say about all this. And this is Sally, anyway. And he has to basically indicate her that Hershey is... Well, he basically tells her she doesn't care about much now because she's dead and she's been dead for a while. And that's Hershey. And it's been dead. And this is what's really caused a lot of people to get angry because why would they suddenly kill somebody off screen or off panel? It doesn't make sense. And, of course, this kind of shocks Bunny and Antoine in the background, like, holy shit, did he do what we think he did? Now, Nagus is back confronting the council by telling them that he's, you know, the rightful king. And, you know, Eliza has to tell Nagus, look, the crown was rightfully passed to me when my father became too ill to rule. And of course he has to, and of course uh, Nagus has to remind Eliza, Maximilian, your father, became my knight in the zone of silence. He swore fertility to me. This kingdom is mine. Now Rhoda tries, now Rhoda is being held back by Penelope, Penelope, the, the purple duck, if you will. And he's like, you know, if you think we're just going to roll over and submit, it just because. But the Nagus tries to correct him and says, no, quite the contrary, counselor. My apprentice is for me of all that's changed. I will honor the people's will and maintain the council. I am not your enemy. Nor do I hold a grudge against the acorn line. You have done what you must in these trying times. Now, Eliza is still kind of upset. And angry, saying, pretty words. But the things you did to my father, and as soon as he says that, Sonic comes crashing through the window onto Nagus, saying, hey, you forgot to cover the windows, Nagi. And, of course, this surprises Eliza, who has the sword in his hands. And then Sonic goes on to inform, inform him, hey, government peeps, Jeffrey wanted the Chaos Emerald just to give it to this clown, so the skunk's officially a traitor, and now we know why. And this upsets Nagus to the point that it's like, Crips and Fists cannot overcome my magic, Quister. And Sonic's like, yeah, I know. And he asks for a magical edge, and Eliza gives him that magical edge by saying, if you think you could use it, you are the most experienced with this monster, so the crown defers to you to handle the situation. And bang, gives him 
the sword of light, if you will. So that's how we end uh, the main story to 223. And I apologize if this review is in two or three parts. But the side story next is where we have Son, where we have Eggman and Snively, the side story is called Special Zone House Call. We have Snively and Eggman going into the zone where they meet up with Feist, who kind of scares the crap out of Snively. And so Feist says, hey. But Feist knows what they're there for. So he puts up, the, as usual, he puts a game together saying that the winner will get the Chaos Emerald. Now, of course, Snively is thinking to himself, Hmm, this is the perfect opportunity to get the kingdom back in my control, leave Eggman here, and go rescue Regina, the Iron Queen. So they race on, and it looks like Snively is about to win. But all of a sudden, his Eggmobile self-destructs, and Eggman wins, claims the Emerald, but then loses the Emerald, because he has a choice. He either takes the emerald or takes Snively. And of course he takes the emerald, but then he also double crosses Feist and takes Snively and teleports him back. And this angers Feist, so it makes you may wonder if maybe Feist is going to have something to do later on in the issues with this big story arc coming up. So. Anyway, overall, 223, I have to say, was a very, very good issue. And it's definitely a good, ugh, it's definitely a good countdown, folks. Sorry, I stretched it for a, a little bit. But it was definitely a good countdown issue. Because it says countdown to Genesis 3. So basically, you've got three more months. But it was definitely a good, a good issue overall. And like I said, there's a lot of things there, folks, that, that you got to look at. That you gotta look at and you gotta point out. I mean, why would he whisper to Sally and tell her what who said anything about Eliza? Why would he whisper that? Why would they put in bold words when he's talking rightful, when it says rightful king? Huh? Why would they do that? Why would he tell Sally you don't want me to make sense because the wants bolded and then but you know what I'm talking about and the no is bolded why would a writer do that unless they're giving you clues you see something just doesn't add up folks why would he go with Nogist when all this time he's been serving the kingdom it just does not make sense folks and if Ian thinks he's fooling anybody then I think he's getting close to finding out that he's wrong because Apparently, apparently, I think we know what king Eliza is serving. What king Eliza is serving. But not only that, folks. I think we're getting clues as to who could be the one whose life hangs in the balance in the next few months. You get what I'm saying? But overall, I have to say 223 was pretty good. I give it... I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. You can comment down below. Tell me what you think. And I will be back later with my monthly opinions on the Sign of the Hitchcock comic book and franchise.